Hi, I'm Dr. Jimmy Johnson, and I'm one of the veterinarians here at the St. Louis Zoo. Today we're examining a white-spotted bamboo shark that lives in our stingrays at Caribbean Cove habitat. Now the white-spotted bamboo shark is a smaller shark species that's native to the islands of Southeast Asia in the Pacific Ocean. And the animal that we're examining today is actually an albino bamboo shark, which is a very rare trait for this species. Unfortunately, this animal's care team noticed that it had developed a swelling on the side of its head, and they asked us to take a closer look. So the shark came up to the veterinary hospital here at the zoo, and we did a full exam. We took x-rays to look at its skeleton. We performed an ultrasound of the whole body just to make sure all the internal organs looked okay. And we ultrasounded the lesion on the side of its head to try to figure out what was going on. We also did a full physical exam and drew a blood sample. And what we found is it looked like there was an infection developing under the skin on the side of the animal's head. And so we treated the skin and tried to remove as much of the infected tissue as we could, and then gave the animal a dose of antibiotics and pain medications. Now, to do all these procedures, we had to anesthetize the shark. And the way we do that is using a drug called MS-222, which is a white powder that we sprinkle in the water and it makes the shark go to sleep. Now, during the procedure, we also had to breathe for the shark and to do that, we actually use a pump and a hose and run water through the shark's mouth and over the gills. And at the end of the procedure, we simply place the shark into unmedicated water from its habitat and he recovered uneventfully. So now he's moved back down to his habitat at Stingrays at Caribbean Cove and we will recheck him in a few days.